Let us go through the functions that can be used while processing the data. These are typically applied on columns to get derived values from existing column values. For example, if there is a user's table with uh, first name and last name, and if you want to concatenate them and get full name, then we can use uh, the functions which I am going to cover as part of this section. As part of the first topic in this section, we will actually get the value of functions. Then we will actually get into the details about how to validate the functions to ensure that they are working as expected. Then we will talk about the most important functions that we will be using on a regular basis, primarily to manipulate strings, manipulate dates, and also we will try to get overview of some of the common numeric functions. Out of approximately 250 functions, 30 to 40 functions are widely used. Those 30 to 40 will be covered as part of these topics. Then we will also see how to convert the data type. Then we will see how to deal with the null values. Also, we will go through case and when to write conditionals as part of our queries. It is a very, very important uh, operator or function which we can leverage. Then we'll actually see an example to get word count. Even there, we'll be exploring some new functions. Let's go through these topics and be comfortable with functions. Make sure you practice quite a lot to understand the relevance of all the important functions which are covered as part of this section. Before exploring the functions, let's make sure to have a Spark object because we are going to use percentage SQL magic to actually run Spark SQL queries. And for that, we need to have a Spark object created. We just have to select this cell and we have to run it. Once the Spark object is created, we should be able to use it to explore all the functions that we are going to as part of this section.